Hi, my name is Phil and uh, today's reading comes from John 13 verses 1 to 20. It's a very well-known uh, story the, uh, where Jesus uh, washes the disciples' feet. So I'm not going to read it all, I'm just going to read a few bits and pieces. But as you know, it uh, many of you know, it took part of the Passover celebration and forms what, what we now uh, know as uh, our communion today. We commemorate this night through our communion. But uh, let's read a few of the verses. So, uh, verse 3, Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and returned to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel he had around them. When he came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, why are you going to wash my feet? Peter was bewildered. It didn't seem right to him at all. Um... But you see, Jesus was trying to get over this picture of the servant heart. He was teaching the disciples and indeed each one of us, um, future followers, if you like, um, that firstly, we are to be like servants, to be prepared to do the dirty jobs every day um, for others. Um, and it may be particularly uh, challenging for those of us um, who maybe have authority in our jobs or in our life in some way. Uh, how do we treat those who work for us or depend on us? But Jesus was also teaching the disciples and ourselves about love. We're called to love and care for others as our highest calling. And in fact, in verse one, before uh, as this um, kind of leads in, Jesus said uh, that he now showed the disciples the full extent of his love. I love that. And whenever I think of Jesus, I always think of him as love. And um, and verse 14 says, And since I, the Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, um, you ought to wash each other's feet. Jesus wasn't just talking about feet, of course. He was reminding us that we are on this planet to serve others, to bring his kingdom to this earth. Uh, so Lent is a good time to reflect and here are a few questions that we could maybe uh, think about. How can I help those in need in my church? How can I be a servant for those people? And maybe that's probably providing a meal for somebody who's uh, just had a child um, or maybe they've just come out of an operation. How can I help uh, in our community of Berska? Could I join, for instance, the, uh, the litter pickers uh, around Berska or is there some way I can get involved in my community? Maybe where I help with cubs and scouts or brownies, etc. How can I support those in the wider world? Ukraine is very much in everybody's mind at present, but there are many other countries that we can serve through small acts and they could benefit from our servant hearts. And I love how direct Jesus is, uh, and he often is, but in verse 17, uh, he says this, you know these things, now do them. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> do them. Uh, that was Jesus, always very direct. Um, and he said, that is the path of blessing. So everyone, get washing those metaphorical feet for Jesus.